Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Distribute Candies. The problem statement is as follows. Alice has n candies where ith candy is of the type candy type i and Alice noticed that she started to gain weight so she visited a doctor. The doctor advised Alice to eat only n by 2 of the candies she has where n is always even. Alice likes her candies very much and she wants to eat the maximum number of different type of candies while still following the doctor's advice. Given the integer array candy type of length n, we need to return the maximum number of different type of candy she can eat if she only eats n by 2 of them. So in the first example, we are given an array wherein we have 3 types of candies and total of 6 candies. So Alice can eat 3 candies and she can eat 1 of each kind. So the output is 3. Similarly in the rest of the examples, there are certain hints given in the problem but we won't discuss that in this video. So let's see what the problem is about. So we can have maximum n by 2 be returned because Alice can eat maximum of n by 2 candies and we need to find how many of these n by 2 candies are distinct. As we are given an array, we need to find how many distinct candies are present with Alice. And if we know the distinct number of candies present with Alice, then it will be easier for us to return if she can eat all of the different types or maximum n by 2. So think of a data structure that will take all the input and only store the distinct values. So this data structure is called set. And the implementation that we will be using over here is has set. Now we need to find the distinct values present in the array so we'll iterate over this candy type array and add all the values into this set alice can eat a maximum of n by 2 candies where n is the length of the array and we have found the number of distinct candies which is stored in the set which will get by set dot size so either she can eat n by 2 or the set dot size so we need to find a minimum of the two values or the set dot size so this completes the coding part let's run this code so it ran successfully when we submit this it got submitted successfully the time and space complexity for this approach is o of n now we cannot further optimize this code or lower down the time complexity but now let's try to implement this for loop with the help of java 8 apis so we can write it as in stream dot of candy type array boxing it and then calling the collect method wherein we say converting into a set now when we run this code so it also runs successfully we can submit this as well so this also gets submitted the time and space complexity still remains the same but that's the fun way of doing it using java 8 we have also made a video on the question distribute candies to people so do watch that thanks for watching this video see you in the next one